Happy Wednesday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. We're going to start our Thursday morning off with temperatures in the mid 50s. Once again, that's where we started our Wednesday, so feeling very similar and a few more warm mornings to go before we get to some of those cool, crisp fall mornings here. You'll feel a lot. It'll feel a lot different by Sunday morning as we drop into the 40s and that's what we're looking at for lows as we go into next week. So things will start getting a little cooler here. We're already setting the stage for that shift in our pattern to take place here this weekend. This is the storm system currently that I'm keeping an eye on. Now the low pressure system that's going to pull that cooler air in will develop on the tail end of this cold front over the next 24 hours and that's what starts moving in our direction as we come up on our Friday. So I do expect rain and storms around, especially the latter part of our Friday and wet weather likely as we get into your Friday night and Saturday morning especially. So let's walk through this, the timing, as we head into the end of the week here. For this evening, clouds are going to increase as we go through the night. I expect a few more of those around, and we drop down to about mid-50s for sunrise on your Thursday. Now, while you see a lot of clouds showing, I do expect some holes in them from time to time. The other thing I'm watching for in the morning, there is a low chance here that we see a stray shower coming through as that push of warmer air comes surging into the area. You see the winds coming out of the more southerly direction. I think that'll help our temperatures warm a few more degrees than what we're seeing here. I'm looking for highs around 80. Now that hinges on how much sun we can break through these clouds. If we see those clouds staying a little thicker during the day, then we're probably only going to get to upper 70s, but I'm being a little bullish with that going with that high of around 80 for tomorrow. Now during the afternoon and evening, another stray shower is possible, and then we'll be watching for a couple of isolated showers or storms around Thursday night. It'll be a much warmer night. We're going to stay in the 60s, which is where we start our Friday. Once again, during the morning on Friday, an isolated shower or a storm possible possible as we get into the afternoon. I expect warm temperatures again. I'm looking for upper 70s. We should see some peaks of sun the latter part of our Friday, especially the evening when we'll look for some of these showers and storms off to our west to begin moving in. Our rain chances are a little higher for the latter part of our Friday as we get into the evening past sunset, and we're also going to have to watch any of the storms that are associated with that round of wet weather that's coming as we have the risk here for a few of those to be a little gusty. This is the severe outlook for Friday and we're looking at that lowest threat category a level one of five here. We don't have all of the ingredients present for these, but the winds would support some stronger storms, especially if we can heat things up. So not the best chance for that, but something we'll keep an eye on as we go through our Friday evening and then Friday night into Saturday. A lot of wet weather moving through most of the data coming in, hinting at anywhere from a half an inch to upwards of an inch and a quarter possible. So your mums are going to get a nice drink of water as we head into the weekend and then we'll see the temperatures feeling more appropriate for having mums in the yard. We're looking at just a low chance for a stray shower, pretty hassle free overall for the next 24 hours, about 56 for that low with clouds increasing through the night. So we'll have scattered clouds around during the morning. That small chance at a sprinkle there into the afternoon, trying to get to 80 degrees again. I'm being a little optimistic on that high that hinges on how much sun we can get. We'll look for holes in the clouds to help boost the temperature there with that slight chance continuing for a passing shower as we get into the uh, late afternoon and evening as well. For Friday, a better chance for some rain and storms, and that is especially in the second half of the day. We have a window in the morning where we'll watch for a few showers trying to pop up uh, coming in from the west, but most of what we'll see Friday, I expect into the latter half of the day, where we also have a chance there for a gustier storm working through. Now, Friday night, rain becomes more likely as that cold front nears, and I do expect showers around on a breezy Saturday. High of 65 is in the morning. Temperatures drop into the afternoon. We'll look for our temps falling into the 50s as we get to the late afternoon and evening, ultimately down into the 40s. So much cooler by the time we come up on Sunday morning. It will be a breezy day, and especially in the snow belt, we'll have the risk for some lingering showers passing through during uh, your first part of your Sunday here, and it'll feel much more like fall with highs struggling to near 60 degrees. We keep the low 60s Monday, and the pattern looks nice through next week. The middle part of the week, dry weather with plenty of sun. We'll get back to near 70 degrees, back above average as we come up on next Wednesday.